Now then, so I am more or less there. Where are we at? This is all boxed up again. I have the wind turbine back up and running. And I have this all simplified. I gutted everything from here. So you have three phases under the wind turbine now, comes in here. Three phases then uh, connected into the interface box. So that's the rectifier. So that's three phase by, I don't know, 400 volts to 600 volt DC. 600 volt DC then into the uh, inverter via the DC isolator. Um, from here then we have a dump load, uh, which is dumps excess power into that. So let's say at 540 volts to protect the inverter, this turns on and it dumps the excess voltage into that. This is a future job, so this is for another kind of like a safety backup dump load thingy-majiggy that I'm going to try and build. Or potentially a new interface for to run one of these for the wind. But anyway, that's all future, future, future. And I'll be sticking a nice new PLC in there as well. Anyway, so coming back to this, I have most of this already up and running and tested. Um, in when I'm in off-grid mode anymore, the wind turbine now works beautifully with the solar panels. Uh, the solar panels, basically, when you go off-grid, you change over your generator switch in the house, your UPS feed from the uh, uh, base system um, sets up a microgrid, so that sets up a 230 volts microgrid. That allows the um, Aurora inverter here from the wind system to synchronize to it. The uh, wind system then can charge the batteries. The day system can take from the solar panels or it can take from the wind, or it can take from the batteries. So that all works very well. Um, when I turn on the generator as well, that then causes the wind turbine here to uh, unsynchronize and go into island mode because the uh, generator runs at a higher frequency, which is not accepted by the parameters that I've currently set up on this. So I need to go into this and I need to modify those grid parameters a little bit. What I've had to do with this fella here is I've had to generate my own grid standard here. So it's it's very close to the ESB grid standard, but just a little bit better, or a little bit relaxed, so to say. So I've called a general standard and I've gone in here and I've modified all these uh, parameters. So I've changed the um, upper voltage and the lower voltage strips. I've relaxed them a bit and I've gone in here to the uh, high voltage strip and I've increased that